up YouTube, it's your boy down low back with another industry talk. Folks, let's talk about Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy donated a thousand backpacks for a back to school drive that happened down in Atlanta, man, in which Young Jeezy has done this for like his entire career. Like he's always been very charitable and such, especially for Atlanta. And this is one thing that hip hop never gets the recognition for that I'm going to continue to promote and shit, man, because a lot of good comes from this. Next, which homie Quan sues TIG Entertainment, well it was his former label that think it's a game entertainment, and which what he's claiming is they took the money from his royalties and such that he got from his distribution deal for a singles type of way in flex man in order to buy up a bunch of real estate in damn Atlanta and then on top of it they just pocketed a bunch of money and you know this is the thing that you guys definitely got to look out for if ever you sign to a label or something man they're gonna spend your money like it's completely theirs man this is not an out of the norm type thing man he really just caught them doing some shit that they wasn't supposed to fucking do like too often MCs don't know how much money they're entitled to off of the shit that they signed for man so you got to be on top of that because these people they do know. Next, Tiger is sued for $100,000 from a Vegas promotional company called Z Entertainment. Now they saying he violated his contract, in which his contract, I've come across this type of thing before, and it's the dumbest fucking possible contract, and people need to stop signing these shits all together, because it's like an exclusivity type deal, where they don't want you to do a performance a week before, and a month after. After they signed you to do one damn show for whatever amount of money, which in this case is $25,000, and they trying to sue him for $100,000. Like, that's fucking bullshit. First of all, never sign anything like that because if you're going to be put in a position, put in a place where you can make some fucking money, you're going to make that fucking money, man. This whole exclusive thing, we only want you here just for us type shit, man, it's unreasonable. Like, that's one thing that needs to be eliminated from the game altogether, man. And lastly, let's talk about Most Def because, you know, he came out with a challenge to any MC out there to battle him and shit. In which he just backed down from that because he got some solid competitors. Like, Lupe came out and accepted. And King Lowe's accepted it as well, man. And I bet you anything, he wasn't expecting that. He was more expecting some of these weaker MCs to come out and say, yeah, I can challenge him. Or maybe some lower level battle rappers and shit. Somebody that he could definitely take. But yet, these guys, King Lowe's and Lupe, that's a tough win there. Like, going into battle rap and shit, man, it's a lot more to lose than what you think if you already got your name established, man. Much like what happened to Joe Button and shit. That L that he took, man, the Hollow the Don, is still haunting him to this day and it kind of fucks up his brand. And that same thing will happen to anybody who steps into that arena and such that already have shit for themselves. So quite honestly, man, he did the smart thing and just let that shit go. I'm not mad at him at all, man. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.